Hello guys, come back to me on African Motives, uh, still working on electro technology entry, that is uh, working on DC machines. In this case, we've got uh, a question that you're going to be focusing on, that is uh, on question three, uh, that is our uh, question three in this case of uh, August 2018. So the first part we're given that is a uh, question 3.1 that is to make a neat uh, fully labeled sketch of a manual faceplate starter used to start a series motor. So what you need uh, here to actually understand is it starts a series motor in this case. It's not for a shunt, it's for a series. So what is, that is the most important part that you're supposed to consider on your on your diagram. So our diagram, uh, we are going to have it this way. So make sure that you also understand your diagrams. Uh, so the first part that we need here, we've got our amateur uh, RA in this case, where we are given our armature in this case. Uh, then we have got uh, the load limiting resistor, which is this part here, which is our our current limiting resistor that is the load limiting resistor or simply current limiting resistor then we have got our our series field in this case so this is our series uh, field uh then moving uh here to the to this part where we have got our no uh no voltage release okay so here we've got the no voltage release at this point with our contacts uh, R3, R2, and R1 uh, on the spring-loaded starting arm of this part. So this is our spring-loaded uh, uh, starting arm, which we can refer as the, uh, the return uh, spring. So this we can just refer as the return spring. So that's a return uh, spring in this case at this point. Uh, then we move on to our overload relay uh to the supply then what we have here are simply uh the trip contacts in this case so we've got uh, the trip uh contacts so these are the trip contacts uh these points here uh so that is what exactly you just need all the information that you're given uh on the diagram if you label properly you are able to obtain the full marks. What you need is to label your diagram properly. It's not just drawing the diagram, but also try by all means to label your diagram uh, properly. So that was the first part of our question, which is uh, 3.1. Then 3.2 is a calculation that we are given, where we are given an eight pole series generator. Take note, we are referring to a series generator in this case. Yes, a, uh, a lap hold armature with uh, 688 uh, conductors. So there are so many things that we have to con consider here. We are to consider being a lap hold and at the same time being a series uh, generator. In this case, let us just start by just having this uh, being a series generator. All right, so let us just having uh, the first part being a series uh, generator. So for a series generator, we understand that the field winding and the armature will be in series. So that will be something of this nature. Let me just save it this way. Uh, it's just a sketch. So I'm just going to have my field winding here. Then in series with the armature part in this case, so we are going to have this in uh, series all right so that is uh, something of this nature just a sketch uh that i'm simply trying to indicate here so this is what we might have uh in a series combination all right where this is your terminal voltage and in this case when it is a generator remember a generator it generates current so we're going to have our supply current which is equal to the amateur current since this is in series the current is the same so this is your field winding uh your amateur resistance here then the generated emf at this point all right so this is the information that you 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 need and also with this information we are given extra information here so given that this is an 80 pole whereby once you're given the number of poles the thing that you're supposed to be thinking of is the generated emf and so forth where p where on our generated EMF, remember, there's a formula that we use that E is equivalent uh, to 2P times uh, the flux times uh, the number 
uh, times n, which is our speed, times the number of conductors over 60C, uh, or you can just separate everything over 60C. So if we think of this formula, that's where we're thinking of the number of poles where P represents the pair poles, pairs. Like in this case, they are it's eight poles. So which means how many pairs do we have? P is the number of pairs. Eight divided by two, that's the number of pairs. So we have got four pairs in this case. So P represent the number of pair poles. So if there are eight poles, it means we've got four pairs, two, 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 two it, 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 so that is four pairs. Then series uh, generator is a lap one. So the lap part affects our C in this case for a lap C is equal to two P, meaning to say it is going to be two times uh, four in this case, which is eight. If it is a wave, wound then it is going to be c is just equal to two for a wave but for a lab that's two uh two p then we have got uh the number of conductors 688 which is our z in this case so our z is uh 688 then also we are asked to calculate the speed at which the generator must be driven so this is the speed that we are supposed to calculate we do not know our speed and our speed if it is given with a 60 like this, it means it's in revs per minute. That's why we've got a 60 for dividing the revs per minute to revs per second. All right. So that is what we are given. Then we are given um, that here, calculate the speed at which the generator must be driven to supply 45 amps at the terminal voltage of. So that is our terminal voltage. In this case, we have got a terminal voltage of 400 volts and the current there which is 45 amps which i said it is the same as the armature current in this case because it's a series circuit then the armature and series field resistance are 0 0.2 and 0 0.25 so in this case we've got the armature the first part is uh for the armature in this case which is uh 0 0.2 so the armature in this case has got a resistance of uh, 0 0.2 ohms and the series field resistor, which is RF, is uh, 0 0.21, uh, 0 0.25 ohms. So this will be uh, 0 0.25 ohms. Then take the useful flux per pore to be 25 uh, milliwebers in this case. So the useful flux is 25 milliwebers in this case. So with this information, how can we calculate this speed? The speed that we see on this formula is from the generated EMF, which is E. We do not have the E in this case. If we have got the E, what we can simply do, we have got all the information that is necessary to calculate N by making this speed the subject. If you want, we can simply make this speed the subject. Uh, let me show you here. If we cross multiply, this is same as over one. So if we cross multiply, that will be E times 60C. That will be 60CE is, uh, that is one times this part. It will be two times, that is one times this everything. It will be 2P times the flux NZ. So as we want to calculate the speed N, so you can divide by 2P times the flux times the Z, we remain with N. Or we divide both sides uh, so all this part is being divided both sides. So as you can see, this and this part cancels, this and this part cancels, this and this cancels, Z and Z cancels, you remain with N. So N representing the speed is going to be given as a 60C times E, which is our generated EMF over 2P times the flux in this case in the, uh, that is our useful flux in this case that we are given. So as you can see, by making any the subject, we can see that we have got everything, but we do not have E. That is, we are limited on this E. So where can we obtain the generated EMF? That is where the information that we are given about being a series uh, part here, yeah, this part that we are given, that is where it is working. This is a generator. It generates. So the generated EMF, I said, it is equivalent to the voltage plus the current times resistance but in this case what we have we've got two 
resistors in series. So we're going to add these two resistors in series. So the load current or the armature current, but because remember we said they are the same, the load current is equal to the armature current in series. So it is going to be current times the two resistors in series, we add them. So this is RA class RF in series. So we are going to add these two resistors or you can expand by IA, which is going to be IA RA plus IA RF like this with a V like this. You can use this formula or you can simply combine these at once because IA is the same, the current there is the same. So you can calculate first, the generated EMF, which is our terminal voltage is 400 plus the armature current in this case, which is the load current of 45 amps uh, into uh, RA plus RF. So we add these two resistors, that's 0, 0,2 plus 0, 0,25. All right, so you combine in this case uh, everything so that you can determine the exact uh, uh, generated EMF. So the first part we are going to obtain 400 plus. Uh, if you combine these two, we are going to obtain 20,5. So this will be uh, 20,25. That's 20,25. So if we add, we are going to obtain 420,25. So this will be 420,25 volts, which is our generated EMF. So with the generated EMF that we got here, we can substitute into this formula now to calculate our speed. And as I said, if there is a 60 like this, it means this speed is in revs per minute. Our answer is going to be in revs per, per minute. So let us substitute what we have. That's 60 times C. Our C, we say it is 2 times uh, per pause, which is 8. So that's 8 times E, the generated EMF we got here as uh, 420 times 2,5 everything over two times the pair poles. In this case, our pair poles, there are four pairs times the useful flux in this case of uh, 25 milliweb milli, that's times 10 to the exponent of negative three, the number of conductors that you are given, which is a uh, 688. So that is the, the information that you're given. So this information, what we need is to plug in our values into the calculator we determine the exact value of our N. So our N in this case is going to be something like uh, 1,465. So that's 1,465,988 in uh, revs per, per minute. So like I said, our speed will be in revs per minute in this case because we've got this over 60 to represent that it was in revs per minute before. So this is how we can uh, simply have our, our, our questions. What we need is to play around with our formulas, take down the information that you're given, understand the information that you're given. How can you play around with that information and with the formulas that you're given? How can you make the subject from the information that you give, you are given. So this is just a matter of uh, formulas. That's all that we have. Okay, guys, that's what we had from Amazon African Motives till we meet again.